Hello guys, welcome back. This is continuation of our previous lecture. If you haven't watched that video, I am just keeping that in the I symbol. Please go watch and come back. If you wish to attend interactive demonstration of same concept, tomorrow evening at 5 pm, I am going to conduct a live session. You can join by using the link which I specified in the description of this video. Let's go back. As I said in our previous lecture, we are going to install one more plugin. Plugin name is Static Analysis Collector. Let's go and install this plugin and uh, enable in our job. I am going back to my Jenkins, Manage Jenkins, and go to Manage Plugins, Available, Next, Static Analysis. Yes, this is the one and install without restart. Alright, we have installed required plugin. Now we are going to update our Pet Clinic CA job itself. Go to configure. Under this, we just need to scroll down. Here we have post build actions, right? Here we should choose publish combined static analysis results select this option now you can see check style warnings find bugs warnings pmd warnings all these are there now if we choose this option it is going to combine the all the warnings but by using those warnings we need to do some activity right if more warnings are there either i want to make it as an unstable or failed one in our case we are getting more warnings right let's go and check out how many warnings are there I am going back to my job once again and if you see results we have 538 warnings, 2 warnings, 6 warnings so all together around 540 warnings. Now I am going to mention that in case warnings are more than 200 make it as a unstable and uh, if warnings are more than 500 make it as a failed one. So if we want to define these rules you need to go to the advanced section and here you can see status threshold when do you want to make it as a unstable and when do you want to make it as a failed one in case alerts are more than 200 make it as a unstable and alerts are more than 500 make it as a failed one in our case we have 540 plus warnings so it is going to make it as a failed one and here you can split these warnings how many high priorities can be in this case it should not exceed more than 100 high priorities maybe warnings are 200 but high priority warnings should not cross 100 here medium priority also i can give 100 and low priority it can be zero if i mention zero it can be anything if it is more warnings low priority that's fine similar way here also i can specify 200 high priority can be there and 200 normal priority and 500 low priority one or I can give zero as well. Let's enable this one, apply and save and whenever I run this job of course it is going to fail. Why? Because warnings are more than 500. So it treat it as a failed one. So in case it is failed, our developers has to look into why it has failed and they try to fix those warnings and push their code into our github repository and will run this process is continuous until the warnings comes down to our threshold value and this threshold value can be changed depends upon the project it is purely depends upon what you are building and this can be guided by your project manager or else your team lead or project owner now you can see our job has been failed and if i open it and scroll down and you can see the issue also build is successful but build marked it as a failed why it has failed if you see plugin result failed why it is failed warnings are 546 and exceeded the threshold value of 500 by 46 so threshold value we have mentioned it as a 500 but it is more than 500 so it is failed now let's go and change it little bit configure and uh, instead of 500 i am going to make it as a 
make it as a thousand okay even though i mentioned it as a thousand it is going to fail why because high priority are more than 200 let's try that one as well i just show you if you see the check style warnings you can see high priority warnings are 538 so again it is going to fail even though we mentioned thousand over there because high priority warning should not cross more than 200 right you can see here this time also it's failed and if i scroll down result 538 of analysis high priority you can check it out exceeded the threshold value by 338 because all are high priority ones so if i want to make it as a unstable rather than failed one i just need to go to configure and change it to high priority i'm going to make it as a 600 so anyway high priority are less than to 600 this time this build is not going to fail but it is going to validate this condition as well now in this condition it is failing here so it makes it as a unstable apply save and build it now it is going to become an unstable build okay fifth build it is not showing let me refresh it yes you can see fifth build it is unstable this time why unstable again and if i go here same kind of error it could be unstable why because 546 warnings and threshold crossed by 346 i want to make it as a successful because these warnings are fine for me in that case i just need to sorry i'm building it anyway let's go to configure let it execute and i just need to change it over here instead of 200 i'm changing it as a 600 and high priority warnings can be 550 because we are having 546 so this condition also satisfied so that it is not going to make this build as a failed one okay let it run i am again i am going to run it okay i think it has taken the latest update and make our build as a successful one because while running our job itself we have updated and if you scroll down there is no warnings and build is successful and job also treated it as a successful one this is how we can build and one last thing i would like to show now we are going to deploy this application before deploying this application on tomcat server i have a quick announcement i have created a new complete devops course if you are interested you can use a coupon code which is mentioned in the description of this video at this moment coupon code is new user with that coupon code you are going to get 30 percent discount on this course it is valid for first 100 users interested people can enroll to this to deploy this application we have a var file under workspace you can check out from here workspace if i go there is a folder called target under target we have a var file yep you can see pet clinic where i am going to deploy this var file in our tomcat system i have already a tomcat server which is up and running so go back here this is my tomcat server let's take the ip address and i'm just going to give it in the browser and it is running on 8081 okay this is my tomcat server and now we are going to deploy on this system to do that one i am going to update our configuration we need a plugin called deploy to container i have already installed that plugin if you don't know how to do that activity please go through our previous videos i have already discussed about it so ear var file you know where it is it is under workspace target and petclinic.var right you can give target slash dot var or else you can just give the this one star star slash star dot where either way will work okay I'm, I'm just going to get it one more time just to validate under workspace you no need to give workspace this path you should give so target under target you have a pet clinic dot where this is the path we should give oops it is downloading cancel it so same path we have given over here next our tomcat server name so it is tomcat 8 
so choose tomcat 8 and credentials i have already added credentials all this procedure i have already discussed in our previous videos next tomcat url this is our tomcat url right so choose tomcat url apply and save that's it now this time this job is going to be a CICD, nothing but building and deploying it. So either we can edit it if it is necessary. Alright, now we are building. Once it is built, we could able to see our pet clinic application in the Tomcat server. Let it be run. It is trying to deploy the VAR file on the target system. So target dot pet clinic dot where it picked up this. Okay, deployment is successful, and I can go and check it out slash pet clinic. So this is the web application which we just built and deployed it. This is how it works. That's all for this lecture. Hope this video helps you. If you feel that this content helps your colleagues and friends, please share with them. And you are first time in our channel please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Thanks once again. See you in the next video.